I might just fall down in a puddle of tears, because it takes me back to the beginning of the best job I ever had. It's been downhill ever since. Hey, it's me, original MTV VJ, Martha Quinn. Hi, I'm Mark Goodman, former MTV VJ. Hi, I'm Alan Hunter, and this... <clears throat> Hello. Puberty. And we're about to take a look back... At the raddest music videos... Of the 80s. This could hurt. The moonshot to open this one up gives me goosebumps. Ugh, oh, even just that. Watching the Buggles video killed the radio star, it gives me a lump in my throat. The first video ever played on MTV. I heard you on the wireless back in 52. One of the cooler things I think about this video is there's this guy and he is a film composer named Hans Zimmer. He's composed music for many of the films that you have seen. And he was part of the band. They couldn't have known in 1979 that their song would be used to open up the the channel that would destroy Western civilization. It was such a huge deal. This video, Take On Me, it was a, a brand new technique for us. Rotoscoping. I don't know why I remember that. Rotoscoping was the first time they had this kind of cell animation where they took the images and actually scoped over them. If there could be a thing called cutting edge at the time in MTV, this was a cutting edge new video from a band with a funny name. Aha! Uh -huh. They released it in Norway. It was a hit, but it wasn't a hit anywhere else. And they finally decided, oh, we're gonna make this really cool video for it. And it was the magic combination. And it got this song to number one all around the world. And I remember that the woman in it was Bunty Bailey. Don't ask me why. But a really cool video though. Lopper, love it. Girls just want to have fun. Oh, this is great. Oh my gosh. First of all, it's amazing to me that this is from her debut album. She was so unusual, which was the name of her album. We did not know who this little gal from Brooklyn was until we saw this amazingly fun video. One of the scenes where Cindy is kind of dancing through her kitchen and there's a whole line of people following her. I knew half the people in the line. It was like her lawyer, and there was this DJ that I knew from a, a local New York station. There were all these people, plus a lot of her friends. Oh, her singing to her mom. Captain Lou Albano, of course, appeared in this video. The horror show that was rock and wrestling was spawned out of Cyndi Lauper's Girls Just Wanna Have Fun video. The song was written by a guy named Robert Hazard, and his original version was a lot more bleak. Girls just wanna have fun. And she turned it around and made it such a joyous moment. She just introduced us to a whole new world, and that was three years into MTV, and we, we were already looking for fresh new stars of the video age, and Cyndi Lauper was one of them. Devo's Whip It? This video, when you see them with their red hats, you know that they bought turtlenecks at the store, cut off the sleeves, and then pulled up the tops. It says, Boy George once said to me, the 80s was a time before stylists. We were winging it. We embraced that quirky, robotic era. And it's unique to the 80s. <laughs> Nerd rock, really, in a way. There was so much variety in the early days of MTV that you, you had to have your spandex and your big hair bands, and who didn't love the high kicks that David Lee Roth brought us? I'm a big fan of performance videos, and when you see David Lee Roth like going up to the camera, you can really get a sense of who they are. Van Halen was an architect of the 80s party attitude. They're badass rockers, they're cheeky, kind of sexy, having fun. Eddie Van Halen with his amazing guitar licks. I, I want to say it's David Lee Roth in his glory, but he was in his glory in every one of the Van Halen videos. Prince, 1999. How big was that for so many reasons? One, it was Prince, and all you needed in a video, really, you didn't need a high concept. You just needed Prince in front of a microphone, dancing and singing. One thing people forget about the 80s is we were very, very nervous about nuclear proliferation. 
And in Prince's 1999, he literally says, Everybody's got a bomb, we could all die any day. And so there was a feeling like, we're gonna party like it's 1999 every day. Duran Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf. A little known fact, Simon Le Bon was wearing that hat because he had gotten his hair dyed the night before and it kind of didn't look good. He didn't like it, so he wore that, which I love. Because I can totally relate to that kind of situation. That would totally happen to me. So Whitney Houston's How Will I Know. We were just getting to know Whitney Houston at this point. Dionne Warwick was her aunt, and Aretha also sort of part of the family. And she appears in this. It's a great, a great moment, I think, for pop slash R&B. She looked incredible. She had grace and beauty in spades and was just such a fresh face. Oh, wow, I forgot about that guy who is the bride and the groom at the same time. Wow. See? You know, video really pushed the bounds of, of art and dance. Wow, like a virgin, wow. Oh, Madge, Madonna. This video I thought was weird. I, I get the idea of it, you know, it's like the lion and she's a fierce woman and, and I love the fact that it was in Venice, gorgeous, but it was just weird. Everyone thinks of Madonna's 1984 Video Music Awards performance when she was rolling around on the stage with her wedding dress. And at that time, this is really telling how your vision of yourself can lead to success. In her mind, she was always Madonna. I was the first one to interview Madonna at a club called The Limelight in New York. She was so focused and knew exactly where she was going, <laughs> that she was gonna be a huge star. And you could see it in the video, like a virgin. I mean, she's looking at the camera like, I am going to tear civilization a new one. And my God, she did. I was wondering if you would be my girl. If you ask somebody, name a video which defines the MTV era, they will say thriller. It was funny that Michael had to put up a disclaimer that he wasn't into occult things, <laughs> dead people. This was a massive video for MTV, probably the single biggest video for MTV ever. We world premiered it. As it really started the video premiere, new videos began to be those big moments for people watching MTV. It had the whole thriller dance. Michael was on top of his game. Prior to Michael Jackson, the obvious uh, brouhaha that MTV wasn't showing black artists, not exactly true. We did have a few African-American artists on the channel, but we weren't playing Michael Jackson's style of music. We weren't playing pop. So it was totally right that Michael Jackson would come along and be the perfect one to throw the doors wide open. Oh my God, that was totally awesome. I want my AARP. Subscribe to this YouTube channel now. For more fantastic content.